Hi DIYers, George here from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be going over how to tell if your Vista 20P keypad is an alphanumeric keypad. Um, now, first let's go ahead and get into what an alphanumeric keypad actually is. So an alphanumeric keypad is a higher keypad that lets you go into deep level programming and actually gives you more programming options. Um, you have an alphanumeric keypad, you have fixed English keypads, and you have touchscreen keypads like the one I have here. Um, so I actually have all three here on the board. I have a 6160 RF, it's actually labeled, uh, we labeled it. Uh, we have a fixed English, which is a 6150, and we have a touchscreen, which is the new Honeywell Home uh, Tuxedo Touch, and this is the old Tuxedo Touch, which right now we have powered down. But right here we have the three different keypads that you may encounter with your Vista 20P system. Now, you may be asking yourself, what do I need an alphanumeric keypad for? Alphanumeric keypads are typically used to go into deep level programming, uh, such as if you're trying to program in a new zone. If you want to program in a door window sensor, motion detector, a fire smoke detector, any kind of sensor into your Vista system, you're going to need an alphanumeric keypad um, and you're also going to need your installer code. Right, uh, I'm gonna show you guys some differences here that you're gonna see uh, within the 6160, but the easiest way to tell if you have an alphanumeric keypad is by first going into programming. If you go into programming and you see a screen similar to the one you will see on this keypad right here, that means you have an alphanumeric keypad. So to go into programming, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. I'm gonna do my installer code, which mine is defaulted at 411 two and then the the command 800 if you have an alphanumeric keypad you will see installer code 20. now you see how it actually has it all written out the 6150 which is a fixed english will only say 20 on the screen now again all of these keypads are connected to the same vista system so if one keypad gives the command to go into programming all of the keypads are going to go into programming, which is great. So you guys can have a side by side view as to what each keypad looks like in when we go into deep level programming um, on the tuxedo. You can actually access a virtual keypad. It's called console mode programming. Um, but right now, since we're not in it, it just says panel busy programming. Just letting you know that it's programming right now. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty of what the alphanumeric keypad um, the benefits of having this compared to a fixed English, right? So most often, if you guys moved into a home um, that had an existing system from a previous company, like a local company probably, you guys will more than likely probably have a fixed English just because local companies usually like to send out their technicians uh, to do programming for you. Um, they typically don't leave behind a alphanumeric because they don't want users like yourselves to go in and move around or change anything in programming that might mess the system up. Um, <clears throat> we as a DIY company actually rely on you guys to be able to do your own programming. So we're always, always going to recommend you have a 6160. So quick example, uh, let's say we want to go into uh, a zone programming, right? We're going to go to star five, six. Um, already you can see that the 6150, if you go into zone programming, you're going to start off going in blind on the 6150. It's kind of like working in the dark. Whereas an alphanumeric, the 6160 will actually show you everything you need to program in a sensor. You're going to hit no, um, you can enter in a zone number. You can go through all of this. I'm just going to leave it here. But as you see, this actually has everything written out. This just gives you a number you don't really know what you're doing you're working in the dark at that point so we're going to go ahead and hit zero zero to exit out uh star 99 to exit programming all right so now another quick easy way to tell whether or not you have a 6160 uh they look very similar right this would actually have a swinging door we have ours off um but they look very similar. If anything, you might be able to say that the 6160 is a little bit bigger, but if you're trying to identify the keypad, you don't really have something to compare it to right next to each other. So the another quick, easy way to see uh, what you have 
is a 6160 or an alphanumeric keypad will typically have text written out on the screen. For instance, mine says disarmed, ready to arm. I come across this all the time when I'm speaking to first time callers that are trying to identify their keypads. I'm, I always ask, what is your keypad currently saying? And they're saying that the system is showing ready to arm. There's a difference though. When they're saying the system is showing ready to arm, they're actually just talking about the light. So when you're saying your system is showing ready to arm, is it actually written out on the screen or is it just a light? As you see here, this fixed English doesn't have anything on the screen. The 6160 does have it actually written out ready to arm. And then that's the second way. The third and last way, well, actually there's couple more ways but let's say uh, the next way I would say is upon a reboot so let's say I were to power my system down so I'm just gonna unplug one of the leads unplug it from AC power and let's just plug it right back in when I power it back on you're gonna see different uh, text on the screens between the 6150 and the 6160 alphanumeric and fixed English watch this This is just gonna show D1. This will actually have it written out, busy, standby, version 4.23, D1, which is that what this shows, but this has more stuff written out. And then I would say, if upon the reboot, if it's still not clear to you, so you've, you, know, you may not have the installer code to go into programming and check to see if it says installer code 20. Um, like I said, the other way would be to, if it says, if it actually says disarmed, ready to arm on the screen. Um, and then I would say, if after the reboot, you're still not clear whether or not you have that, the only other way is to just open the keypad up and take a look at the inside. Um, on the inside, on the green circuit board, it'll be kind of like burned into black lettering on the actual motherboard. It'll show you the model number on there. Um, for instance, obviously here we have it labeled 6160 RF, but if I wanted to take it off of the wall and check the back, um, it would actually show you the model and I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys right now. All right, guys. So whenever you're removing the keypad, there's these little hooks that are actually underneath the keypad that you're going to need to push in here. You'll see them right here. Um, you basically, it's easiest to do it one side by one side. So get one side loose, pop the other side out, and then you can remove the keypad from the back plate, which is actually what's mounted onto the, um, onto the wall itself. But here you'll see the motherboard. Uh, this is actually my RF keypad. So you're gonna actually see some little metal bars here, some wire uh, s surrounding the motherboard. Um, that's a quick, easy way to tell whether or not you have an RF keypad. Uh, but the other way, this is the model number that I told you was burned in black lettering onto the motherboard. It'll start with SA, SAM Alpha, and then it'll show you the model. This one is a 6160 RF. All right, that's literally the last resort just because um, sometimes when you're removing keypads from the back plate, you might pull a little too hard and some of these wires may come loose, they may break, which then you'll get an, uh, an error or trouble on your keypad and you might have to redo some of the wiring. So save this as the last resort. Um, or if you are going to do it, just make sure you're removing the keypad carefully. Um, don't tug on the wire so much. If you do tug on them and you get an error, just check the wiring, make sure nothing is loose. All right. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and put it back on top first, click the bottom in and, uh, yeah. So this was just a quick video showing you guys how to identify if you guys have an alphanumeric keypad on your Vista system. If you guys found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit the little bell icon so whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. My name is George, and I'll see you guys next time.